Okay, so I'm getting a lot of comments about what emulator I'm using, and the answer is I'm not using any specific kind of emulator. Uh, one got made for Redux, and then it got added to Ranked. So this is how you use it. You press F3 to add in your second character, F4 to add in the, th add in the third, and then F5 to add in the fourth. And to switch between the two, you just press their corresponding F keys, so to go back to the first slot, it's F2, and then 3, 4, 5 for each one, respectively. And a little trick is, you've probably seen in my videos, that if I'm on a boost monk, it'll be in a split, and I'll be shooting. And then you press another... It can be the first slot. Usually you want to do the first slot, because that's the key, you know, the hero you're active on. So if you're holding down a button and then swap to a different character, that split will still be holding down that button. So you can do that with, you know, holding down right click for um, Monk to keep firing. Or you could do it for, say, holding up the map. So press shift and then F2 and the, sh the map gets keeps getting displayed even though you're not holding it. And you can run around on your main character with the map up. Um, so yeah, other key binds are if you press F8, it'll hide all of your splits, so you can just see your main, so that's where you would, you know, shoot on your monk, switch back to your main, press F8, and now he's going to be doing his thing throughout the wave, and you can do whatever. Uh, F7 removes all the characters that you have in. This doesn't matter, you know, whether you have two or three characters, they all just get removed. And then F6 will add the characters you have in the first, the most first slots. So say if my gesture was here, it would be these three characters. But because my gesture is here, it's going to be Eevee, Adept, and Initiate. So we press F6, adds in all of those characters. F7 removes them all. So yeah, hope that explained that well enough. And uh, yeah, that's it.